25 January 2023 Morning Burshli Aum Shanti Bhaktada Madhapan Sweet children, make a great deal of effort to remember the father because you have to become real gold. Question What are the signs of good effort makers? Answer Those who are true effort makers follow Srimad at every step. Those who constantly follow Srimad are the ones who claim a high status. Why does Baba tell you children to follow Srimad constantly? Because he is the true beloved and the rest are his lovers. Aum Shanti Both old and new children have understood the meaning of Aum Shanti. Your children have come to know that all of us souls are children of the Supreme Soul. The Supreme Soul is the highest on high and the beloved who is loved by all. The significance of knowledge and devotion has been explained to your children. Knowledge means the day, the golden and silver ages. Devotion means the right, the copper and iron ages. This applies to Bharat. You do not have that much connection with other religions. You are the ones who experience 84 births. It is your people of Bharat who come first. The cycle of 84 births is for your people of Bharat. No one can say that those of the Islamic or Buddhist religion take 84 births. No, it is only the people of Bharat who take 84 births. Bharat is an imperishable land. It is never destroyed, whereas all other lands are destroyed. Bharat is the highest on high land. It is imperishable. It is only the land of Bharat that becomes heaven. No other land becomes heaven. It has been explained to your children that only Bharat existed in the new world of heaven, the golden age. It was Bharat that was called heaven. They take 84 births. Finally, all became the residents of hell and those same people of Bharat then became residents of heaven. At this time, all are residents of hell. Later, all of the lands will be destroyed and only Bharat will remain. There is limitless praise of the land of Bharat. In the same way, the praise of the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul and the praise of the Gita are also limitless, but only that of the real Gita. The Father is now teaching you Raj Yoga. This is the most auspicious confluence age of the Gita. Bharat will then become the most elevated of all. That original deity religion doesn't exist now. That kingdom doesn't exist now and that age doesn't exist now. Baba has explained that the mystic of putting Krishna's name in the Gita is fixed in the drama. When the path of devotion begins, there will first be the Gita. The Gita and all the scriptures etc. are now to be destroyed. Only the deep religion will remain. It is not that the Gita, the Bhagavad etc. will remain with it. No, you receive the reward, you receive salvation and so there is no need for scriptures etc. There are no gurus or scriptures etc. in the golden age. At this time, there are innumerable gurus who teach devotion. There is only one spiritual father whose praise is limitless, who grants you salvation. He is called the world almighty authority. It is mostly the residents of Bharat who make the mistake of saying that he is Antaryami, that he knows what is inside everyone. The father says, children, I don't know what is going on inside everyone. My duty is to purify the impure. I am not Antaryami. This false praise is given on the path of devotion. I am called into the impure world. I only come once when the old world has to be made new. Human beings don't know that this world becomes old from new. 
and that from old it then becomes new everything passes through the stages of sato rajo to tamo human beings are the same they are at first sort of pradhan children and then they go through the stages of adolescence and old age that is they go through the rajo and tamo stages when their bodies became old they shed them and became children the world also changes from new to old Your children know that Bharat was very elevated in the new world. The praise of Bharat is limitless. There are no other lands that are as wealthy, happy, or pure as Bharat was. The Satyapan world is now being established. Brahma, Vishnu, and Shankar have been shown in the picture of the Trimurti, but no one understands the meaning of that. In fact, Trimurti Shiv. not trimurti brahma should be said who created brahma vishnu and shankar it was shubhaba the highest on high it is said salutations to the deity brahma salutations to the deity vishnu salutations to the deity shankar and salutations to the supreme soul shiv therefore he is the highest of all he is the creator it is sung that the supreme father the supreme soul creates brahmans through brahma they also receive their inheritance from the supreme father the supreme soul he himself sits here and teaches brahmans because he is the father as well as the supreme teacher he sits here and explains how the cycle of the history and geography of the world turns he alone is the knowledgeful one it is not that He is Jani Jananhar. That too is a mystic. On the path of devotion, no one knows his occupation or his biography. That is like the worship of dolls. In Calcutta, there is so much worship of those dolls. They worship them, feed them, and then sing them in a say. Shri Baba is the most beloved. The father says they also create an image of me. out of clay worship it and then break it up they make it in the morning and break it up in the evening all of that is the path of devotion the worship of blind feet human being saying you are worthy of worship and you are a worshiper however the father says i am ever worthy of worship i simply come and make impure ones pure I give you your fortune of a kingdom for 21 births there is temporary happiness for the path of devotion sanyasis say happiness is like a droppings of a crop sanyasis renounce their homes and families that is limited renunciation they are hat yogis they don't even know god they remember the brahma element the brahma element is not god they are is only one entire god shiv who is the father of all souls the brahma element is the place where we souls reside brahmand is the sweet home we souls come from there to play our parts the soul says i shed a body and take another it is the resident of bharat who take 84 births those who have done the most devotion will also take the most knowledge the father says children stay in your households but follow shrimat all of your souls are lovers of the one beloved the supreme soul you have content to remember him since the copper age souls remember the father at the times of sorrow this is the land of sorrow souls are originally residents of the land of peace They then enter the land of happiness and take eighty four births. The meaning of ham so so ham has also been explained. They say that each soul is the supreme soul and that the supreme soul is each soul. The father now says, how can souls be the supreme soul? There is only the one supreme soul, and the rest are his children. Even sages and holy men. give a wrong meaning for hamso the father has now explained the meaning of hamso 
We souls were leaders in the golden age. We then became warriors, merchants, and then shudras. We have now become brahmins in order to become deities. This is the accurate meaning. They are totally wrong. The father says, by following the dictates of Brahman, human beings have become so false. That is why it is said, Maya is false, the body is false, and the world is false. You will not see this in the golden age. That is the land of truth. There is no trace or sign of anything false there. Whereas here, there is no trace of truth. If there is truth, it is like a pinch of salt in a sack of flour. Human beings with divine virtues exist in the golden age. Theirs is the deity religion. All other religions come later on. Then there is duality. The devilish kingdom of Raven begins in the copper age. The kingdom of Raven doesn't exist in the golden age. None of the five vices exist there, and so they are completely viceless. Ram and Sita are called 14 degrees full. No one knows why Ram has been shown with a bow and arrow. It is not a question of violence. You are godly students. He is the father, and because you are students, he is also your teacher. Then he grants you children, salvation, and sends you to heaven. Therefore, he is also your Sadhguru. Here, he is the father, teacher, and Sadhguru, all three. You have become his children. Therefore, you should have so much happiness. You children know that it is now the kingdom of Ravan. Ravan is the greatest enemy of Parak. You children receive this knowledge from the knowledgeful father. He is the father the ocean of knowledge and the ocean of bliss. You clouds feed yourself from the ocean of knowledge and go and shower knowledge on arrows. You are the Ganges of knowledge. This praise applies to you. However, no one can become pure by bathing in the water of the Ganges. They think that they will become pure by bathing in the dirty water. They give a lot of importance to spring water. All of that is the path of devotion. There is no devotion in the golden and silver ages. That is the completely wiseless world. The father says, children, I have now come to make you pure. Remember me for this one both. Become pure and you will become Satapratham. I am the purifier. Increase your pilgrimage of remembrance as much as possible. You should not say Shubaba, Shubaba through your mouth. It should be just as a lover and be loved remember each other. Once they have seen each other, that's it. Each one's intellect remembers the other. On the path of devotion, you receive visions of whomever you remember or whomever you worship. However, all of that is temporary. You have been coming down by doing devotion. Death is now standing ahead of you. Only after cries of distress will there be cries of victory. Rivers of blood will flow in Bharat. All have now become Tamapradhan and everyone now has to become Satapradhan. However, only those who became deities a cycle ago will become this. They will come and claim their full inheritance from the Father. If you did less devotion, you would not take the full knowledge and you will claim a status number wise among the subjects. Those who are good effort makers follow Srimad at every step and claim a good status. You need good manners too. You also have to imbibe divine virtues which you will continue to have for 21 births. Everyone now has devilish traits because this world is impure. The history and geography of the world has been explained to you, children. At this time, the father says, children, now make a lot of effort to have remembrance and you will become a real gold. Satyu is the golden age, real gold. Then in the silver age, silver, a law is added and the degrees continue to decrease. 
Now no degree is remaining. The father comes when it reaches this condition. This too is fixed in the drama. You are actors. You know that we have come here to play our parts. If actors don't know the beginning, middle or end of the drama, they are called senseless. The unlimited father says everyone has become so senseless. I now make you sensible and make you into diamonds. Then Raven comes and makes you as worthless as shouts. This old world is not to be destroyed. I take everyone home like a swarm of mosquitoes. Your aim and objective is in front of you. Only when you become like them can you become residents of heaven. Ubiquis are making this effort. However, because the intellects of human beings are tamapradhan, they do not understand that all of you are Brahmakumars and Kumaris and that there must also definitely be Brahma, the father of people. Brahmins are the top knot. Brahmins that became deities, they have removed the Brahmins and shift from the variety form image. Brahmins are now making birth into heaven. Acha, to the sweetest, beloved, long lost, and now found children, number wise, according to your efforts, love, remembrance, and good morning from the mother, the father, Bhaktada, the spiritual father says, Namaste to the spiritual children, the spiritual children says, Namaste and good morning to the spiritual father. Essence for the Dharna, first point. You clouds must fill yourself from the ocean of knowledge and then go and shower knowledge. Increase your pilgrimage of remembrance as much as possible. Became real gold by having remembrance. Second point, follow Srimad and by good manners and divine virtues. In order to go to land of truth, become very true and honest. Blessing. May you wear the glasses of seeing specialities when coming into relationship and connection with one another and so become a world transformer. Explanation While coming into relationship and connection with one another, see each one's specialities. Adopt the vision of only seeing specialities. Nowadays, the fashion and compulsion are of wearing glasses. So wear glasses that only see specialities. Let nothing else be visible. For instance, when you wear red lensed glasses, even something green would then appear red. So with the glasses of seeing specialities, you will not see any rubbish, but by seeing the lotus will become an instrument for the special task of world transformation. Slogan. Constantly stay away from the dust of thinking of others and looking at others and you will become a valuable, flawless diamond. Oh, Shanti!